I want to show you how to paint sheer stockings on a model using only three colors. Howdy folks, Craig here on the third floor. I'm gonna, this is a short tutorial to teach you how to paint stockings that uh, appear to be see-through. So they uh, aren't completely opaque, and it appears that part of the skin you know, can be seen through it uh, while still looking like they're stockings. Uh, it's a pretty simple technique, and I hope you like it. Enjoy. So my goal is, is to make these uh, stockings, you know, obviously sheer, but I also want them to be kind of a, you know, a black based stocking. So I'm going to start off with some uh, graphene gray by scale color. And the only other really color I'm going to use for the majority of this is golden skin. Because ultimately what we're looking at is we're looking at the skin showing through these gray slash black stockings at certain points. So I'm going to mix these two together and kind of create a 50-50 between the graphene gray and the golden skin. And what we'll do is, got to get it the right consistency, of course, but what we'll do is we'll go ahead and base coat the entire stockings this mid-color. Because everything's going to be brought up to the golden skin from this color and brought down closer to the gray, and we'll even introduce some black a little bit later. But first, let's start off by getting the uh, mid-tone covering. In general, this is how I, you know, shade models. So I, you know, get the midtone in and then bring the darks, dark areas down and bring the light areas up, um, building off of that layer. Because of how I thin my paints using Flow Improver, I tend to get uh, each layer, you know, is not completely opaque, so it shows through the layer below it. Um, this, of course, means that I'm going to be painting the same thing more than once because these layers are thin, uh, but. I like uh, how that goes. All right, so now let's focus on the shadows. Now with stockings, the areas that'll be dark are gonna be areas where two things are happening. One, light of course is not hitting it. And two, the skin that's under the actual stocking um, is not showing through. Um, so in order for the skin to th show through on a sheer stocking, you need the light to be hitting it and that area needs to have um, be taut against the skin. So what I'm shading here is just the opposite of those two things. So it's where the light's not hitting and where we don't see the stocking being pressed hard against the, uh, the skin itself. So that means we're going to get uh, here under the knee and then of course behind the leg. Now. You'll notice that as I'm doing this, I'm really just blocking in the shades. I'm not worried about the transitions. We're doing this with, you know, some thinned paint, so it might take a couple uh, coats to get it uh, down to where I want it to be. So now we can work these transitions a little bit. So the beauty of having this wet palette is all my paint is live, so I can mix on the fly. So you'll notice that harsh transition that we've got under the knee. Well, just by mixing down and using a thinned paint, we kind of blend in that transition. Because it's been thinned down, it's gonna be show a little bit of both the dark area and the light area, but it's also gonna leave some of that mid-tone pigment. And what should happen is I should slowly see that transition disappear and it becomes a nice smooth area. Now I could have, you know, done this with wet blending and so on and so forth. But, you know, for blending, I find this to be the easiest way to do it, which is block out your two different shades, your two different colors, and then start blending it with a thinned mid-tone between those two areas. And uh, it's almost like magic. The transition becomes smooth and the uh, harsh harshness kind of disappears. All right, so in here we've got, a, got the other leg we can't forget about. It's not going to get as much attention as the front leg will just because it's not doesn't have as much visibility on the model itself. Now, another thing you're going to notice that I do too is I kind of work the areas up and down, back and forth. And uh, so here I'm kind of bringing kind of that mid-tone back up again. 
And I think of it as kind of a push and pull between, you know, my darkest darks and my, you know, mids and lights. And each time I'm checking it, so now I'm going back to the darks again because I see areas that I want to have a little bit more of the uh, dark gray. And we just keep working it back and forth. Areas that I don't think are dark enough are going to get more coats of that graphene gray. Areas that I don't think that are light enough, we're going to go back to that mid-tone and bring them up again. And then if a harsh transition exists, uh, I'll work that. All right, so now we're going to go more towards just golden skin. And here I'm going to block out where pantyhose or the uh, stockings are pressed against the skin and the lights hitting it. And really there's kind of just two main areas. It's going to be the top of the thigh and the top of the calf. By not using a lighter gray, I'm giving the impression of the skin kind of showing through on the stocking. Now, if I were just to go to a lighter gray, you know, up to towards a white, then these would look like black stockings that, you know, don't have any see-through properties. But because I'm using a skin tone, this golden skin, it's gonna give the illusion that this is a sheer stocking showing some of the skin through it. And just overall, this is not a very difficult illusion to pull off. And this is a very simple method that I'm showing. You can get a lot more complicated than I am, um, but uh, if you want it just quick and easy, with basically two, we're gonna add black, so it'll be a third color. This is pretty easy. So now I'm really kind of getting in and defining those areas where the light's hitting and the stocking is pressed very close to the skin. So that means more of that golden skin. And it's kind of coming together a little bit. And we're gonna have to up the contrast a little bit to really sell it, but let's go ahead and get more of this, the pure graphene gray in those dark areas. A little bit of work on the back leg but it's not nearly going to get the attention that front leg gets all right so now uh, off the palette you can't really see it but i'm adding in flat black by scale color um, and now what we're really going to do is make the darkest dark areas a, a pure black and what makes a miniature work what makes it visually interesting is contrast so if I've got a dark gray black stocking, then some areas are gonna have to be a pure black. So I'm kind of sketching that in, and then you'll notice I'm starting to work that transition. And what's gonna make this stocking work, the illusion work, is the little tiny areas that are darkest dark and the little tiniest areas that are the lightest light. And you know, you're, you'll focus on you know how smooth the transitions are and things like that, but in reality, it's the darkest darks and the lightest lights that make things work. Um, so there's a little bit of a dark area there between the notches of the knee. So now let's create little areas with just this pure golden skin. And you notice I didn't add a bunch of flow improver to it, so it's not really thinned down. So now to counterbalance those dark darks I did with the black. We're now gonna create little slivers and little areas where we just have this pure golden skin. And if any of those transitions are too rough again, I'll just work them up by going back to my mid-tones that are thinned down. Now you really, really can start to see it, can't you? It really gives that impression of the skin showing through the stocking, but it's obvious this is not pure flesh. Again, just working that transitions more, making sure I don't lose the pure golden skin areas and the pure black areas, because again, that's what's gonna sell this illusion. It's that contrast that's gonna make the whole thing work. And it's weird because it's just little areas that get those darkest darks and lightest lights, but that's what makes the miniature look good. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Um, so 
let's just um, freeze that for a second so you can really see where those lightest light areas ended up and where those darkest darks ended up. Um, so under, right under that knee is that blackest black and really just the points at the very top of the knee and at the very edge, sharp edge of the upper um, calf is where we get the brightest brights. All right, thanks so much. <laughs>